To save a copy of a pages document in another format, you have to export it in this new format. This is useful when you need to send a document to people who are using different software. But don't worry, any changes you make to the exported document don't affect the original. In previous lesson we talked about highlights and comments. These edits will not be available if you export the document in Microsoft Word format or as EPUB. But you can still keep these comments if you export a document to PDF. But I will talk about these different formats and options further in this video. To save a copy of a pages document in another format is very simple. From the file menu at the top of your screen select export to and now choose a file format you want. And that's it. But let's talk about these options a bit and specify some more export settings. First one is PDF here. These files can be opened and sometimes edited with applications like Preview and Adobe Acrobat. You can click the image quality pop-up menu, then choose an option. Well, the higher the image quality, the larger the file size. If you have edited in the document some image, drawing, audio or video descriptions for assistive technology, for example for voiceover, they are automatically exported as well. But if you want to include smart annotations or comments as I mentioned before, you have to select the corresponding tick box. And if you want to include accessibility tags for large tables, click advanced options and then choose on. Next is word format. This option will export the pages document in word format to be available on Windows computers. Are you enjoying this video? I have created a complete mastering course with more than 100 video tutorials. Pages is really important app for every Mac user. And if you want to find out all the hidden features, this course will be a great guide for you. Of course, for more information you will find a link in the description. But if you are really interested in the course, let me know in the comments below and I will give you a coupon for the best possible price on the market. And also, answer all of your questions. If the file needs to be compatible with an older version of Microsoft Word, which is the version 1997-2004, Click Advanced Options and then choose Doc from the pop-up menu. Note that if original file has a password, it applies to these exported copies as well. You can use passwords in PDFs, Word format and Pages format. Here you can see the tick box where you can select it or remove it. You can also export your document as a book in EPUB format. Use this format to make your document readable in an ebook reader such as Apple Books. It will allow you to enter the title and author name, and also you can choose a cover. If you are working in the word processing documents, you will be able to choose a layout type. A fixed layout preserves the layout of your document and it is best for documents with multiple columns or lots of images. While the other option, a reflowable layout adapts to the screen size and orientation and lets users change the font size. It's best for documents with a lot of text. And then you have set of optional features. If you click the disclosure arrow next to advanced option, you can specify the document's language, set the category of a book, and choose whether or not to include the table of contents or embed fonts. Let's move on to plain text now, TXT. Here the body text is exported as unformatted text. Text boxes, shapes, images, lines, tables and charts aren't exported at all. And also page layout documents cannot be exported in this TXT format. Next to it is rich text format, RTF. Here unlike the plain text everything will be exported, but body text and tables are formatted as RTF text and if the document has text boxes, shapes, lines and charts, then these will be exported as images. Note that other applications might not be able to open this kind of file at all. And also page layout documents cannot be exported in these formats. Last on the list we have pages 09. This format can be opened by older versions of pages 4.0 to 4.3. And here you also get the option to password protect the file if you need it. Same as the PDF or Word format. But it's actually the only option. 
so now you know all the formats and you can choose one. After you set all the options, you can click next, then type a name for the document. Don't actually type the file name extension, it will be added automatically. And the next step is to choose the location where you want to save the exported copy. And all is done, then you click export.